when IMSA ambulances run on heart attack calls in Oklahoma City and Tulsa, the way some patients are treated will be radically different as early as October 1st. These aren't just heart attacks, these are cardiac arrests. So not only is there a blocked blood vessel, a heart has stopped beating, uh, the patient is not circulating any blood for a period of time, and um, uh, there can be permanent brain damage from that. To improve survival rates and lessen the chance of brain damage, MSA EMTs will use ice packs or chilled saline IVs to start lowering the patient's body temperature before transporting them to the hospital. There's been some growing evidence over the last three to five years uh, that this is a really important way to improve survival from patients who need CPR uh, out in the field. EMSA won't be the only ambulance service providing what's called pre-hospital patient cooling protocols. EMTs and first responders from across the state gathered at the OU School of Community Medicine in Tulsa today to learn why dropping a patient's body temperature by just a few degrees can have such a major impact. The lecturer here today compares it to putting ice on a sprained ankle. He says you, the quicker you put it on there, you minimize the swelling, you minimize the damage, you get people back to their normal activity. A few hospitals in Oklahoma City and one in Tulsa already use mild hypothermia or so-called cooling protocols once a patient is admitted following a cardiac arrest and more will likely adopt them. As of January 1st of 2010, we're working towards the, the uh, protocol where only an ambul ambulance in Tulsa or Oklahoma City will only take patients in cardiac arrest to hospitals that have an in-hospital post-cardiac arrest cooling protocol. And Dr. Jeff Dixon from Hillcrest Medical Center believes more ambulance services across the state will see the benefit of and adopt pre-hospital cooling protocols. I think we're in the process of changing the way we do things all over Oklahoma. And that's expected to make a tremendous difference for people who suffer the types of heart attacks once thought to be fatal or permanently debilitating. In Tulsa, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.